We're still not up to speeches yet. We're still doing activities. These, again, will be component parts of speeches that you'll use later on. So today, we started with a joke that just got you in front of the audience doing an attention giver. Then we moved to 1B, which is a quote. And so if you did your quote, you can check that off, by the way. On page 9. Okay. Um, but not only am I giving you an attention getter, I'm showing you how it's relevant to my speech. The next one is going to be a story. So if you look on page 22 and 23, uh, you see the assignment. And then on 24, you see the checkoff sheet. You can present yourself to a group and you can deliver a memorable thought about yourself retelling an event or a story. So not hard and fast requirements there. You're just going to tell a story. The text talks about a beginning, a middle, and an end. I'll steal something from a theater class I'm teaching this semester because we started off with storytelling. Then we're going to talk, move to script writing and then we're going to move to acting. So they had to come in and tell a story. And their beginning and middle and end had to be a specific kind of beginning, middle and end, but might be helpful to you as you're thinking about what's the difference between the beginning and the middle? You know, how do I know? Often when we tell a story, and if you look at movies and books, you see the same kind of thing going on. The beginning, you're going to have character development for the people. Who are the actors? Who's involved? Uh, a lot of times in a movie, that's the boring part because you got to meet everybody before you can start doing stuff. But the middle of the story is where you do stuff. The action or the plot. And then the last, the end, is your resolution. The end, the wrap up, the moral of the story. Uh, my debate coach used to call it the so what. You know, so what's the point of telling this story? There's something I want you to remember about it. So it might, that might be where you get to the memorable point. And maybe the story's memorable. One of the things we're trying to do in level one is to get to know each other and become memorable to the rest of the class. So tell us something that will help us remember who you are. So that's your 1C assignment. Now tell us your name and you'll tell us a story about yourself. 